The overall intent is to bring Marines, NCOs to the state capitol, uh, show them, you know, Quantico, uh, take them to different places that they've never been to or may have never been to in their career. And ultimately, our goal is to show them the bigger picture of the Marine Corps, a little something outside of what they're used to. Each one of those locations, they were able to get a tour and a brief on uh, what it is that uh, these facilities support and how they tie into uh, the Marine Corps. And I, and I had the opportunity to kind of open their eyes. My favorite part, I would say the museum. And with me being in the Navy, uh, I learned so much about the um, Marines' uh, background and heritage and traditions, which kind of was an eye opener for me. The bond that I, I noticed from the Marines that I, I came here with, everybody's close, uh, everybody's willing to learn more about the, uh, the core. It's a learning experience for me. We talk about leadership traits, we talk about our core values of honor, courage, and commitment, and uh, at the end of the day, what do those things mean to them? They'll have uh, an opportunity to experience and to see um, the history behind the Marine NCO and what the Marine NCO has done. At the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty while serving as a rifle squad leader, 14th April 2004, Corporal Dumb Squad was conducting a reconnaissance mission in Iraq. The e course that we did was pretty motivating. It, it makes you know the hair on the back of your neck stand up because you know doing the obstacles and I know a lot of people <laughs> kind of broke them off a little bit, but then you know you get into that. Medal of Honor citation that we read, and you know, you read that, and you know, you get the feeling of what they did, and the you know the pain and the stress and all that stuff that they went through, and you're you're like, I, this don't hurt no more. Like it, it can't when they went through all that. Aware of imminent danger, and without hesitation, Corporal Dunham covered the grenade with his helmet and body, bearing the brunt of the explosion. We've all gotten pretty close. Well, the reason I actually got put on this trip is because I recently just picked up the rank of corporal and I needed to cohese with uh, my fellow corporals in our unit. So uh, I feel like I've come a lot closer with uh, all the corporals from the different sections. So that's what I've taken out of it the most. I've enjoyed seeing and learning a little bit more about the Marine Corps and its history. Kind of take some time away from the shop, get to clear our heads, and we get to take everything we've learned back to our junior Marines. So. I think uh, we had an opportunity to share some good camaraderie and this is something that when I was a corporal I never was able to, to be a part of. It just, it's a testament to them as leaders and uh, responsible men and women. And you know, these are the go-to NCOs within the battalion. I'm very fortunate that they were able to come share this experience because when they get back, they're the ones that are going to be influencing their junior Marines and peers alike.